Queensland's youth detention centres are so full they're unsafe. That's the assessment from a Department of Justice draft report obtained by the ABC. It also contains the alarming statement that almost every girl in detention is suffering psychological damage from sexual assault. Matt Wordsworth has this exclusive story. Queensland has two youth detention centres, one in Brisbane and one in Townsville. This Justice Department draft consultation paper says safe capacity is 85%. Above that, and you risk escape and injury to staff and the detainees. But last year, safe levels were maintained for just 15 days. The centres were over 100% capacity for almost one third of the year. Concerning experts like Angie Dwyer. It's not appropriate in any way, shape or form. Of course, people are going to get more aggro. It's been fuelled by an explosion in detainee numbers, 36% in three years. The youngest, aged 11. The number of girls has tripled. It tells us that what's happening around the system and the diversion options that we have available, it's just not working. A new centre isn't slated until at least 2018, so interim ideas deemed suitable include throwing down a mattress to convert a single cell into a double, although it'd take up most of the floor. Using police watch houses such as Caloundra, where staff costs are $60,000 a week, and the mothballed children's court complex. Its five cells don't have toilets, so the report says detainees could use an intercom to get an escort to the bathroom. That could set Queensland apart from the rest of the nation. One can't imagine that an environment in which they are sleeping on a mattress, don't have access to running water and have to press a buzzer to be able to go to the toilet would meet those standards. The portrait of a modern offender is also becoming more complex. The crimes they're committing more violent and drug and mental health problems disturbingly commonplace. The draft says almost all girls are now presenting with significant post-traumatic stress disorder after sexual assault. Experts are now calling for more programs targeting the increasing number of girls in detention. And Matt Wordsworth joins me now in the studio. Matt, what's been the government's response to this? This is the Attorney General Jared Blay's portfolio. He says he's appalled by what's been documented in this report, but he lays the blame squarely at the feet of the previous administration, saying there was a lack of investment in the infrastructure that led to some of these findings. But he has ruled out some of those interim emergency measures because he says new modelling done in, since this report was done in July says that long-term capacity trends should be acceptable. He's also got a new blueprint of youth justice on the way. And Matt, what impact has the tough on crime agenda had in this regard? There were two major changes that the LNP has brought in. So that's removing detention as an option of last resort that judges can apply. Also making breach of bail an offence on an even, in and of itself. Now experts believe that will push up detention rates, but because that only happened in March, we'll have to wait and see what happens, Karina. Okay, Matt, thanks for bringing us the story.